In 1883, Daniel Carter Beard and Ernest Thompson Seton met and became friends while studying art at the Student Art League in New York City. Now at the time, they had no way of knowing how this chance encounter and ultimate friendship would impact the youth of America, as later the two men would work together to help found the Boy Scouts of America and lay the groundwork for an entire outdoor skills program that remains the foundation of scouting today. Learn more about Daniel Carter Beard and his role in the founding of the BSA in this edition of Artifact of the Week. Daniel Carter Beard was born in Cincinnati, Ohio on June 21, 1850, and soon after his family moved across the Ohio River to Covington, Kentucky. Beard loved the outdoors and spent much of his time exploring the woods and sketching nature as he saw it. He also enjoyed hearing stories of frontier life and during his life he recalled seeing Conestoga wagons passing through Cincinnati headed to the west. During the Lincoln-Douglas debates of 1860, the future president smiled at him and he helped build earthworks to protect Cincinnati during the Civil War. After finishing public school, Beard enrolled at Worrell's Academy where he studied civil engineering and graduated in 1869. He worked as a surveyor in Cincinnati before moving to New York City in 1874, and once in the city, Beard used his artistic sketches to pay for his admission into the Art Student League. He became a famous illustrator for magazines and books, and he was a favorite of Mark Twain, who said that Beard could illustrate his thoughts, and the artist's works graced Twain's popular 1889 novel, A Connecticut Yankee in King Arthur's Court. While making a name for himself as an artist, Beard was also an accomplished author, specializing in works about outdoorsmanship, wilderness survival, and youth activities. In 1882, he published an American Boys Handy Book with the inviting subtitle of What to Do and How to Do It. In over 400 pages of colorful boy talk and illustrations by the author, Beard described hobbies and crafts such as making kites, fishing, hunting, trapping, taxidermy, knots, boats, camping, wildlife identification, snow activities, and puppetry. On a cold winter's day in New York City, Beard had a chance encounter with a group of boys that were sleeping on the pavement beneath the statue of Ben Franklin and skipping schools to deliver newspapers to make money. This experience convinced Beard to begin what he called his lifelong crusade for American boyhood. In 1905, Beard used his position as editor of Recreation Magazine to launch a new boys organization called the Sons of Daniel Boone. On the pages of the magazine, Beard, using the experiences from his youth, outlined a program to encourage wholesome manliness and good living for boys. The program shared many of the lessons in camping and nature skills found in Seton's Woodcraft Indians program, but Beard used frontier language within his organization with members organized in forts and stockades and taking their names of Western heroes such as Daniel Boone as the president, Kit Carson as treasurer, and Davy Crockett as secretary. In 1909, Beard renamed the organization the Boy Pioneers of America. Beard and his organization were very popular with boys and the outdoor community. This led to the newly formed Boy Scouts of America inviting Beard to merge his organization into the BSA. This merger would give the BSA members as well as credibility due to Beard's popularity and reputation. The merger was completed and Beard became one of the original National Scout Commissioners, a position he held for more than 30 years. He later became the editor of Boys Life magazine and wrote a monthly column for youth. Popularly known as Uncle Dan by the Scouts, Beard attended the 1937 National Jamboree at the age of 88. Beard received many awards for his dedication to scouting. He was the recipient of the only Gold Eagle Badge awarded at the second National Training Conference of Scout Executives held in 1922 in Blue Ridge, North Carolina. Four years later in 1926, Beard became the sixth person to be awarded the Silver Buffalo. Despite clashes with James E. West over administration and the idea of how scouting should develop, Beard remained active with the BSA until his death, just before his 91st birthday in 1941. The national program director at the time, E. Erner Goodman, was selected to oversee his funeral. An honor guard of 125 Boy Scouts served during the funeral, including escort duties and assisting with traffic control. Daniel Carter Beard's memory remains alive today, partially through the Daniel Carter Beard Masonic Scouter Award, which is an honor awarded to members of the Masonic Lodge who act as role models and provide dedicated service to the youth of the BSA. Beard was a Freemason and he exemplified the Masonic ideals throughout the scouting program. 
This award helps recognize the long-standing relationship between Freemasonry and the BSA, while at the same time affirming the integrity of the recipient who is receiving the honor. The Daniel Carter Beard Masonic Scouter Award is a BSA Community Organization Award used by community groups to honor their volunteers for their scouting activities. Recipients are presented a medallion on a neck ribbon and may wear the generic Boy Scout Community Organization Award square knot on their uniform. Well, that's all the time we have for this week. Join us next time as we continue to learn more about the history of the BSA through the collection of the National Scouting Museum and Artifact of the Week.